Hey guys, welcome to another video in which I want to talk about the effect of emotional wounds and I'll look at it uh, as regards what happened to me. It might not pan out that way for you, but I just want to share for you to understand that we're not healed. Emotional wounds affect us. They affect our lives. And this week, I particularly read the story of a guy who got married to a fellow guy because he said women had betrayed him serially. He'd been married twice and divorced and he said his mother also didn't treat his father well. She left his father and when their mother left, the father told the kids never to trust women. And you know that's a, an emotional one because already the guy has been trained not to trust women. And so he began a series of dating and being betrayed, marrying and divorcing. And eventually he said, okay, no, I'll go for my fellow man. So when not treated, emotional wounds affect us. They make us do things we ordinarily shouldn't do, as in that case. But how did it pan out in my own life? Now, the first way it affected me was in the area of my relationships. I honestly couldn't keep relationships because of my emotional wounds, because I distrusted people at the time because of my emotional ones i'm still working on that aspect of me i also could kept attracting people who were wounded like me i i, I kept attracting people who were wounded like me and so there was no way the relationship was going to work and i also constantly felt insecure and i refused to open up to people i kept myself a lot and it didn't help me in those days i'll tell you well I love hanging out around my books and my computer more than hanging out around people. But I know that people matter today because I'm healing. And so those are the where ways it affected me. So that's in the area of relationships. Now, in the area of work, it affected me in the sense that I couldn't make videos like I am doing now. I couldn't even make uh, take photographs and people had started following me on image sharing sites, on video sharing sites and... I couldn't, for the life of me, put my face on a camera. And you go and check my YouTube first channel was the Yaboyawale channel. It has like 55 subscribers as we speak. And I only have one video there of a video tutorial and it doesn't show my face. That tells you, and I'm talking about eight years ago now. And so that really affected my ability to put my brand out there and affected my work and then also emotional wounds affected my uh, physical health yes i was depressed for five plus years and it wasn't a joke i constantly had unexplained headaches and pains and i couldn't sleep sometimes sometimes i couldn't eat well and it affected me I look gaunt, I, I didn't look well, and so your emotional wounds affect every aspect of you, you know, although we say, okay, let me put it to the back of my mind, but it always resurfaces until it is treated. It is just like a physical wound. If you don't treat it, it keeps troubling you, and even though it might not be apparent to the physical eye like a physical wound, Emotional wounds still exist and must be dealt with. Now, the last way that it affected me was in the area of self-esteem. I constantly felt that um, I wasn't enough. And if you are in that kind of situation, I can tell you, I know how it feels. You'll enter a room full of people and you head straight to the back of the room because you don't want to be seen. You don't want to be heard. You don't want to be validated. And that was me few years ago and I'm still working on that to be honest and uh, I'm working on that because I've come to realize that my playing small doesn't glorify God because my God is a big big God and expects me to play big and so if you're in that kind of space it's as a result of your uh, emotional wounds and the bible says we are fearfully and wonderfully made we are not made for the back we are not made to be small we are made to be big and for me that settles it and so if you are in that kind of situation i can tell you you 
are enough yes you watching this video you are enough and you don't need any other validation than that and you can start working on your self-esteem issues and so those are the four areas four areas where my emotional wounds affected me and if you also have um such an experience you can share with us in the comments and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel like this video make a comment share this video with friends because we have more of such coming your way thanks for watching and bye bye